us to another episode in a series of episodes in which we continue looking at the August 2024 Mathematics paper team. If you haven't seen the other episodes, please check out on our YouTube channel or download the companion app that you are seeing on the right hand side of your screen. In this app, you are going to find a lot of materials that are going to be helpful to you. You are going to find quizzes based on the topical exam pass papers. You are going to find over 10,000 questions with few solutions, instant solution and detailed explanation. Let us look at question 21. Write the four inequalities that define the unshaded region R on the diagram below. So this question always comes and it's usually question 21. And it carries five marks. So once you understand my explanation, the principle behind that five marks becomes a free mark. Before you even enter the exam, you know you're going to get that five marks. So follow me step by step. So the question is asking us to write how many inequalities? Four inequalities. So we have four lines. This is the first line, the second line, the third line, then we have the fourth line. Each line represents an inequality. So we need to come up with four inequalities. So the first thing that you need to look at is, you ask yourself, is the line a solid line or a broken line? If it's a solid line, then it means the points along that line are part of the solution. So meaning that inequality will have equal somewhere. So it will be greater or equal or less or equal. If it is a broken line like the case of line 2 and line 3, then that's strictly greater or less. Meaning the points along the line are not part of the solution. So you need to take note of that. So just start with one. One is normally the case is a vertical line and a horizontal line. Then the other two, they are either sloping upward or sloping downward. So one will be sloping upward, one will be sloping downward. And those two, which is in this case line 3 and 4, they will normally color about 1.5 each. Then the other two are simple, they will get maybe 1 mark or even 0.5. So let us start with 1. So if you look at 1, along 1, we have the line passing through point 0, 0,1. This is 0, 0,1, which is 1. So what this tells me is, as you move along this line, regardless of the value of x, the value of y remains 1. So the equation in itself is y is equal to 1. But we are interested in the points above. Because it's a solid line, then points above and the points on the line are part of the solution. So what this tells me is y is greater because we are looking for values that are greater than 1, which is 2, 3, above like. So y is greater than 1. Now because it's a solid line, so we have y is greater or equal to 1 which is the same as 1 is less or equal to y. If 1 is less than y, it means y is greater than 1. But it's a solid line, we're including the equal sign. So that's the first one. So we have y is greater or equal to 1. Then we move to line number 2, which is vertical. Because this line is vertical, what it means, the guardrails of the value of y, x remains 6. That's what it means. No matter where you go, whether you go upward or downward, the value of uh, x remains 6. So that line tells me that x is equal to 6. But we are interested in the points that are in the shaded and the unshaded region, which is in R. So we are looking for the points that are below six points like him uh, are three here we have like five here these are the values that we're interested in so now we need to write it as inequality because x is equal to six is just one line and that line is not part of the solution so what this tells me is x should be less than six x is less than six to just clear the confusion this also means that 6 is greater than x. That's what it means. That's the same meaning. If x is less than 6, then it means 6 is greater than x. So once you do that, 
you go and light y is just x is less than 6 because this is a broken line unlike the previous one so we have um, x is less than 6 then we move to number 3 line 3 so for line 3 which is uh, number 3 we need to find the gradient because uh, this is an upward sloping and we have two points which is 6 comma 6 and at the origin which is 0 comma 0 so the first thing is we need to know y is equal to m times x plus c so we need to find m we need to find the c so what is m so m is equal to the gradient which is y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so let us say this is the point 2 then this is the point 1 so what it means that one we have x1 and y1 at 2 we have here we have x2 y2 then here we also have x1 and y1 so just substituting there we are going to have 6 minus 0 because y1 is 0 then over 6 minus 0 this gives me 6 over 6 which reduces to 1 so the value of m is in 1 now if you find the value of m to be 1 we can get any point between these two points and substituting this equation so y is equal to 1 x plus c so what i get is y is equal to x plus c now when we get any point so it's easier to get the one with zeros we have zero comma zero to find c we need to substitute the, these points on the value of y and x then so for c so we have zero because y is zero is equal to zero plus c so what this tells me is c is equal to zero then of course this equation now this equation now becomes y is equal to x because c is zero so that's the line so now this is y is equal to x but this line is one broken so it is strictly greater or less but you're looking for the points below these lines so to find the sign to put there which i can use this one so I'll just say y this box then x we just pick any points inside the region any point then substitute then to guide you the sign so if you have a three here if i say i put here if this is six i can put this line put this line so this line would be something like so five comma three like this so five comma three what it tells me is the value of y is three then what's the value of x the value of x is five so once i put this what is the true sign the true sign is this three is less than five or five greater than three so from this i know now the sign is y should always be less than x that's how you do it once you do that you just come and put there then you're going to have y is less than x like this so at this point we need to find the fourth inequality which is that line so let me just screen a bit so that you have some space you can see properly what you're looking for so what you notice if you look at this line it is a solid line so in this case we are dealing with it greater or equal to or less or equal to so we have this point which is 6 comma 0 so meaning x2 y2 then this point which is 0 comma 3 so this is x1 then this is y1 so let us find the gradient like we did in the previous one so let me just move to the bigger space so i'll be quicker so we have this equation which is y is equal to mx plus c so we need to find m and c so m is equal to y2 minus y1 over x2 minus x1 so m is equal to so if you go here you notice that 
y2 is 0, then y1 is 3. So it will be 0 minus 3 over, um, we are going to have now 6 minus 0 from the points that we are given. Then at this point we just uh, simplify this, so m is equal to minus 3 over 6, which is equal to minus half. So m is half. So now substituting the equation of y is equal to minus half x plus c. Then we are looking for c now. So out of these two points, we just pick one. So I can pick this one, which is 0, 0,3. It's much more easier to substitute for. So I'm going to pick 0, 0,3. So always when x is 0, it's much more easier. So we are going to have y is 3 is equal to minus half times 0 plus c. Why is easier? Because this all things drops. So meaning from here, I don't need to waste so much time. So I know 3 is equal to c or 0 plus c, c, so meaning 3 is equal to c. So I know the value of c. So now I have this equation, which is y is equal to negative half x plus, plus 3, because we found what c is now, plus 3. So meaning y, then in the, we put the box like we did, minus half x plus 3. Then we just come here and pick a point. A point within the unshaded region within this R point. So we pick any point there, then substitute. I can still use the same point that I picked because uh, 5 comma 3 is still above the one that I use. So I so just I just go there and substitute 5 comma 3. I'll come here so that I'm going to have 5 comma 3. The point we're going to use 5 comma 3. So y is 3. Then box. Then I'm going to have half times 5. Then plus 3. Like that. Then I'm going to have 3. Then box. Then half times 5 is 2.5. So it will be negative 2.5 plus 3. So I'm going to have 3. Then box. Then I'm going to have 0 0.5 which one is true there 3 is greater than 0 0.5 but i come here and look at this line this line is a solid line so because it's solid solid line it means the points along the line are part of the solution so i'm going to have now in this equation i'll put greater but with an equal sign so meaning i have now y is greater or equal to minus half x plus 3. So once you do that, you are good to go and you get these five marks. I've taken a bit of time because I want you to understand so that you get this question correct. Thank you for joining me. Join me in the next episode as we look at question 22.